The Chang hard fork is going to change Cardano forever here in just a few weeks. Cardano is never going to be the same after this hard fork goes through. It's going to do multiple things, including unlocking voting for ADA holders, basically more utility for the ADA token. It's going to unlock a new democratic version of the blockchain world where Cardano innovated staking. Now it's innovating governance. Cardano's Chang hard fork is going to unlock democracy. D reps, constitutional committee. There's a lot we got to go over in this video, but I want to break down what this hard fork is, what you can expect from it, and what is going to happen with the ADA price because of it. The Chang hard fork is bringing democracy to Cardano. What this hard fork is doing, it is basically right in line with SIP 1694, which we've made another video about. The Chang hard fork is going to bring governance to the Cardano blockchain. Currently, Cardano has catalyst proposals where you can propose things and we can vote on it, but this is a whole different level. This is the catalyst proposals at scale. Anyone, any ADA holder will be able to submit a proposal to the Cardano blockchain to be voted on to use treasury funds after the Chang hard fork. Furthermore, after the Chang hard fork, we have the opportunity to vote in things like input endorsers and get Plutus V3, and many of the dApps will upgrade after the Chang hard fork, like LenFi. LenFi V3 is getting a fully upgraded UI and more features and more experiences. This will happen after the Chang hard fork. So Cardano's Chang hard fork is gonna unlock democracy on Cardano. It's gonna unlock the power of holding ADA by giving votes to the ADA holders based on how much ADA you hold. We're gonna be able to access the treasury, which has just been sitting there. It's got like 1.5 billion ADA, currently valued at like $700 million or something like that. It's just sitting there. It cannot be touched until after the Chang hard fork. So the Chang hard fork is going to give Cardano a chance to iterate on the governance model for blockchains. Cardano did this with staking when it fully reinvented the staking model of what is expected in the crypto world. Cardano has the ability to do that with governance by fully reinventing what governance means for a blockchain. In my opinion, Cardano staking is the gold standard of staking. You don't lock, you can stake while you're using DeFi, you can pick a pool, you can do all these different things. When governance comes with a Chang hard fork, we will have that same version of accessibility for retail investors for governance, for a governance model. With the Chang hard fork, we're getting two new parties in the Cardano ecosystem. We currently already have stake pool operators, SPOs. We're also going to get D reps, which is like digital representatives of the blockchain. And then we're gonna get a constitutional committee. What these D reps and the CC constitutional committee will do for us is as an ADA holder, when the Chang hard fork goes live and we have proposals that we get to vote on and use treasury funds for, right? We get to vote on these things. You have the option of voting as a user, so voting by yourself, or you can delegate to a D representative and vote to what they say. Me personally, I'll probably vote to a D representative. Um, the D rep interviews or the D rep application process has already begun and D reps are being put in place all across the world. This is a worldwide global governance. It's really impressive and amazing what's gonna happen from this. And later in December of this year, all of the D reps, all the people will be meeting in Argentina for the constitutional convention to draw up a constitution for Cardano in this new governance era that it has. If you ask me again what the Cardano Chang hard fork is, it's accessing the decentralized nature of Cardano. It's burning the Genesis keys, giving more decentralization to Cardano and introducing a new method of governance for blockchains. Cardano already in innovated on staking. Now it's innovating on governance and it's going to give access to the ADA holders to vote what to do with the Cardano treasury of one and a half billion ADA out there. What are they gonna do with it? We're gonna be able to submit any proposal that we want, vote on them in any way we want. We can either delegate to a D representative and vote like kind of in line with them, kind of like the current party. You can be a Democrat, you can be a Republic, you can be uh, an independent, you can vote for anyone you want that's available on the ballot. You can do that by going with a D rep and kind of voting in line with them, or you can just vote on your own, vote as a user, and you can vote that way as well and select your own individual things. We'll have a constitutional committee that will oversee proposals and votes and D reps and make sure that we're following the constitution that's put forward in Cardano. And basically this whole Chang hard fork is a big experiment on bringing decentralized democracy and governments to crypto. After the Chang hard fork, a lot of things can happen. A lot more things can happen. A lot of proposals will go through and people will start using treasury funds. A lot of headaches are gonna come from that. We're gonna have to vote on what to do with ADA. People are gonna say, we need more liquidity. We need more marketing. 
Yes and no, yes and no. All these things are gonna have to have massive debates and you're really gonna have to inform yourself if you wanna be a solid voter. You're gonna have to learn about some D reps and figure out if you wanna vote with one of them or who you wanna to choose to represent you, right? So a lot of things to look at. It's going to be a giant big experiment, but after the Chang hard fork goes live, we'll get things like Plutus V3, which is basically an upgraded Haskell language for the Cardano blockchain. More usability, more features, more feature rich, more developer friendly. We're gonna have dApps upgrade like Lenify to new versions of themselves after the hard fork. And then Cardano is gonna do this hard fork with its Chang, or with its uh, hard fork combinator. So the Chang hard fork will go live by using parts of the old blockchain and the new blockchain in parallel, which allows us to do a hard fork while Cardano is still running. So really awesome stuff. I'm really excited for the Chang hard fork. And we had the Alonzo hard fork in 2021 for smart contract upgrade. I think this hard fork is just as important as that one. We had a lot of hype around the Alonzo smart contract update in 2021. I think the same thing is gonna happen with this hard fork in 2024. If you ask me, what does the Chang hard fork do for Cardano? I think it opens it up to a lot of possibilities. What people constantly talk about in the media and on Twitter and on Reddit and here on YouTube is, Cardano is centralized. People will say that because of the Genesis keys. Well, we're getting rid of the Genesis keys. When the hard fork goes live, the, the Genesis keys of the Cardano blockchain, the seven Genesis keys will be destroyed. That whole narrative will be totally gone. Cardano will remain the most decentralized blockchain out there today. And I think that's a great thing to have happen. Cardano is known for its security and its decentralization. It has focused on those two over speed. So I want it to be recognized as a decentralized entity with the stake pools, with the delegation, with the voting, with the node requirements, with the tokenomics, and now with the Genesis keys being gone after the Chang hard fork. So decentralization is one big thing that this does for the Cardano blockchain. Second, it's also great marketing when the Chang hard fork goes live and if you know this big experiment of governance really goes through and goes well and people start to realize hey this is how governance should be for crypto or this is a possibility of what could happen in governance I think that will drive a lot of media or it should drive a lot of attention people should be asking questions even if you don't like Cardano, you can still talk about what is going on with the governance, right? I think a lot of people throw governance and utility of governance kind of as a joke. It will not be a joke after the Chang hard fork. The last thing that I think the Chang hard fork really does for Cardano is it continues to differentiate Cardano from the rest of the crypto ecosystem. I think a lot of people out there don't really like Cardano, but Cardano has done really well at being its own thing. In a world of fast blockchains, in a world of proof of work blockchains, in a world of you know, all of these different blockchains, gaming, L2, scaling, Cardano is actually really different than a lot of the crypto ecosystem. It's very retail friendly, proof of stake, following Bitcoin's core principles, you know, cap supply, no inflation really, no tokenomics changes, none of these things. It's kind of been really focused on security and decentralization and putting scalability as something for like 2025, 2026 to look at with input endorsers. And so Cardano has been known kind of as like the black sheep of the, of the crypto community, right? I think we all know that if you're a Cardano holder. What I like about the Chang hard fork and pushing decentralization and governance like this forward and really committing to this new governance model and writing a constitution and having bylaws and all these things, I think that further separates Cardano from the pack. And I think that's a good thing. Thing. In a world where you have, you know, a bunch of different L1s and you have 20 different major cryptos and all of them serving a different purpose, right? You have like Polkadot and Cosmos doing layer zero. You have ETH and all of its L2s. You have Solana and the really fast blockchain, Solana, Tron, Ton, all those, C, Sway. And then you have Cardano over here just kind of by itself. When Cardano is over here by itself, I think it needs to continue to be itself. Bring in some things from these other aspects. But when you are building a de democratic governance model on top of Cardano, already a black sheep, it further solidifies that, hey, we're doing something different over here, and that further makes it stand out to not be like the rest. In a world of competition, the best thing you can do is have a unique selling point that's totally different, and I think that Chang hard fork and a governance model like this will do that for Cardano, and people will have to recognize that that's what it's doing, and it's something special, and it's something different, and it's something to take note of. What do I think this all means for the ADA price, though? Short term, probably honestly nothing, okay? Right now, you know, the bull market's kind of taking its first little dip. And I think we're, you know, I think Cardano's in a solid accumulation point. I don't think it's gonna go crazy lower than it is today at like 34 cents or something, 33 cents. But short-term price is not really gonna change a lot. It never really does after news like this. What I think 
the Cardano hard fork, the Chang hard fork, and governance does for Cardano is it one makes ADA more valuable. It has more use cases, it has more attention, it has more reasons to hold it, right? If you want to control the vote of Cardano, you need more ADA. So we have more things happening there. But I think that the price of ADA long term is reflected in Cardano's ability to follow through on its mission. A lot of the investors of Cardano are investing in Cardano for a particular reason. And in order for more people to get drawn to that reason, more investors to come, more price accumulation and more price appreciation, it needs to continue to deliver on not only what the other blockchains deliver on, but its core foundational mission. It needs to continue to be democratic and decentralized and peer reviewed and having a certain level of security and decentralization above speed. And then as we add in these things like a fully fledged out governance model, fully fledged out staking model, fully fledged out you know input endorsers and speed and kind of that DAG structure where you're processing more blocks than one at a time, Cardano's price will natively and interactively get higher and higher. People will see the value in that. So I think right now the Cardano price won't go up immensely, but over the year, over two years and 10 years and 20 years, if you want ADA to get to $5, $10 and $30, it needs to continue to make the big changes like Apple making the big changes in phones. Microsoft making the big changes or Nvidia making the big changes in chips before people needed those chips. And in the long run, they get paid for it. I think the same thing will happen with the Cardano price. It's doing the things it knows it needs to do now because in five to 10 years, people and users of crypto will want those things. You can't go back in time and change that. And it's going to be hard to fight the competition if you just enter in five to 10 years. Cardano is getting ahead of the pack with this governance model that people are going to want to use down the line. I think this drives ADA's price much higher than it is today. Definitely a 10X from today is kind of my price target. And I think that happens, you know, within the year. And then further that, if you want to see the $5, the $10, the $30 ADAs, you need to have something being built on Cardano that people talk about and want to use. The Chang hard fork, governance, the centralization of constitution. These are those things. As an ADA investor, I want to see Cardano to continue its mission and to not stray from the core fundamentals that it has. All right. So I think Cardano's price goes up in the long term. I think it's because of developments like this. Chang hard fork, governance, decentralization, democracy, constitutions, dereps. It's a very novel idea. And then when we pull it off, price long term will do better because of it. I also want to mention a caveat, though, as price goes up, you know, and the Chang R4 goes live and people start putting in proposals, ADA will be released from the treasury. And there is a, a large possibility that that ADA gets sold on the market for dollars, you know, being kind of as a sell pressure. So as we move into this bull market, I would be aware of that. I'd be watching that is that as you know, the Chang R4 goes live, it's a two, it's a, like a two upgrade Chang hard fork where we're going to get the hard fork here in a couple weeks and then a month later it's going to do another upgrade kind of a bootstrap testing phase and then a fully fledged feature phase but as these go live and people submit proposals and they get ADA for those proposals to deliver that work that ADA could get sold on the market so removing the one and a half billion ADA from the treasury is not going to happen in one day it's not going to happen in one year but over time that ADA will be sold on the market so that's something I would be watching for um, I don't think it's a huge deal Cardano supply is very it's circulation heavy about 80 percent of all ADA is out in circulation so there's not going to be a massive tank in price because of it but just know some ADA is going to come out of the treasury every time there's a proposal to pay people to build the work and they might sell it for dollars all right so there will be a little bit of a sell pressure but that is really the only thing. I think the price goes up long term because of the fundamentals. Lastly, in this video, I want to talk about a current catalyst proposal that I think you should keep your eye on. If you think Cardano needs gaming and the crypto world needs gaming and you've watched this video all the way to the end, I think gaming is going to be an important part of our future in crypto. If you kind of agree and you think gaming is important and you are interested in gaming or interested in Steam or interested in Godot, you should look at this Cardano proposal for Fund 12 proposals right now currently being voted on. It is to implement Godot into Cardano to allow game developers to develop on Cardano so, so, so much easier. I think we'd love to have some Steam games, some Godot games here on Cardano. If you think that's important, check out this proposal you have until July 11th to vote on it. So this week, basically, get your vote in, check it out, click on the link, link down in the description. All right, I'd really appreciate it if you checked it out and you know, if you think gaming is important, all right? Other than that, that's what the Chang hard fork is in my words. That's what I think what happens to Cardano and what this hard fork is doing for Cardano long term and what it does for the price. Let me know if you agree down in the comments. I kind of hope you do. I think that's really what the, the scenario of the current Chang hard fork is. But I'd be happy to discuss with you down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this hard fork. Is it going to be good or bad for ADA? I'd love to hear it. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.